Hey guys, Jeremy Blum here with a quick video review this week. I'm taking a look at this LCD display shield made by Wicked Devices. It's a really nice little shield that allows you to mount pretty much any standard LCD display onto an Arduino using just a shield and it has some breakouts for some buttons which allows you to make it into an I.O. shield. Comes with an LED and a potentiometer as well for just some contrast. Uh, and some jumpers that are laid out here for allowing you to connect to different LCD configurations, which is great. Uh, and they have very good instructions online for how to wire it up. Uh, so let's take a look at how I actually put this particular shield together. It goes together pretty quick. Uh, and some of the information they offer online with respect to schematics and open hardware and how you put it together. If we navigate to the website that they have online for their LCD shield, it's pretty comprehensive. It gives you just about everything you can want to know. A general overview of what it's capable of. There's download for the Eagle CAD files, which is obligatory because they've released it as open hardware, so you have to release the schematics and stuff. I've already opened those up in Eagle. You can see the board layout here. Uh, looks pretty good. They have a ground plane on both sides, which is the red, the red and blue on each side of the board. Uh, and you can see the LED here, the, the plugs for the potentiometer, uh, room for four buttons, one of which is reset, the other one which I populated with a button uh, to control the uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit readout on my display, and then there's room for two more buttons, uh, and hookups for all the I.O. pins, their logo, open hardware logo, and a link to the website, which is great. And then over on the schematic, we can see the general setup here, basically it's just an Arduino shield, Hooked up to a bunch of pins and they have those uh, going to the jumpers that connect to the LCD display. It's pretty much a straightforward pass through and then there's room for some buttons and stuff uh, and a potentiometer as well. But pretty straightforward but they have the schematics on there which is great so you can modify it or uh, make your own or do whatever you want and that's awesome. If we uh, go to the preparation page they have uh, really nice instructions for how to put this together which I, I really appreciated. Um, I think most people will be able to figure it out on their own. I definitely didn't have any issues with doing that. Uh, but they tell you all the parts you need, uh, which is awesome. And then these are all the parts that they supply. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty, it, it's, it's pretty good. So this is how to prepare. And um, pages are a little out of order, which is kind of strange. But if you go to make it, it gives you all the instructions for how to put it together. So soldering everything in place. Uh, they have a great piece of advice about putting tape over things as you solder them down from the back end so they don't fall out the front, which I actually thought was a pretty good idea. And then just how to solder everything in place and that's the finished product. So it looks, it looks pretty nice. And of course, they also provide some instructions on actually getting it programmed. You can use it with pretty much the default Arduino library, which is precisely what you would expect, which is awesome. And you'll even notice down here uh, this is the display that I recently reviewed on my website uh, that I used in my last Arduino tutorial that uses a non standard setup and they were nice enough to show how you can modify the pins here to accommodate my display which is pretty awesome and I thought that was pretty cool of them and then how to use some extra pins from the buttons to make a voltage divider for the backlight again pretty great they put this up here right away it's on the website uh, so yeah, that's awesome, and it's uh, it's pretty straightforward, easy to program, easy to set up, and, and pretty nice. All right, 
right, so all in all, this is a pretty nice little device. I assembled mine to basically do the same thing I did in my last Arduino tutorial where I was talking about LCD displays. If you go watch that video, you'll see that I have it set up on a very large breadboard, and this is quite a bit more compact, which is always nice. So I have my LCD display up here. Now, I am using a not, very non-standard LCD display, so I actually couldn't plug it right in with the header that they provide, and they, they do provide a header, which is nice, because um, I, I the, the hookups for my backlight LCD actually go to the opposite side, which is a little unusual, uh, and they run off of six volts instead of five, so I have to set up a voltage divider here. But when I notified the creators that there's this, these non-standard displays out there, they right away put the instructions up on their website and told me how I could use the existing breakouts on here to make that work, which is awesome of them. Uh, and of course it worked great, and I, I have it working very well. Uh, there's room on here to add additional bu push buttons, which is great, so I could have my push button to change between uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is very nice. And then it comes with a reset button for the Arduino. There's room for breakout on here. I have my I2C temperature sensor mounted. And they ship uh, pass-through headers for the Arduino, which is great for hooking other things up uh, that, on pins that the shield isn't using. Of course, it doesn't really make a lot of sense on an LCD display shield because the LCD display would just get in the way of actually putting something on top of it. But why would you want to put something on top of the LCD display anyway? You want it to be on the top so that you can see it. Comes with a nice tensiometer here for adjusting the contrast. Basically, it comes with everything you need. Uh, I find the, the, the setup of the uh, little jumper pins here a little strange. I understand why they did it to accommodate different uh, configurations of pins for the LCD displays. It certainly makes sense and it's an interesting approach to making this as universal as possible. But it is a little, still a little wonky that you have these, uh, you know, a whole bunch of like 12 uh, jumpers here to get this hooked up between the pins and uh, the actual digital I.O. on the Arduino, which is a little weird. But all in all, it's a really nice little device. It's open hardware, which I love. Uh, and they have all the schematics and word files up online, so I certainly can't complain. And every time I talked with the creators of the device, they were super helpful uh, getting anything worked out, making sure I had access to the board files, which are, of course, downloadable, uh, and helping me figure out the problem with uh, using a non-standard LCD. So yeah, all in all, this is a great product. I can definitely recommend it for your next Arduino project involving an LCD display. Thank you.